welcome to your channel parivartan physics dear students in this video we will learn how to convert galvanometer into voltmeter so we'll see in detail about the circuit connection the procedure calculation and the result step by step right and if you want to watch the same procedure same practical in dual language i mean in kannada as well as english i have already uploaded a video on that and the link is present in the description box you can watch that right and this is going to be completely in english okay without making any delay let us start with the circuit connection and then we'll go for the calculation and then we'll see how to convert it the procedure of the conversion right okay let us begin now let us see the circuit connection of this practical right so here we are going to convert a given galvanometer into voltmeter okay so let us begin it from the battery eliminator so this is the battery eliminator or simply you can call it as a battery in this the red terminal indicates positive and the black indicates negative right so this converts high voltage to low voltage and it provides us okay so from positive of the battery eliminator we are connecting it to <coughs> galvanometer right so there is no need of connecting from positive to positive of galvanometer only so don't worry about the polarities of the galvanometer because galvanometer you can interchange the polarities here there is nothing to worry if you interchange these things instead of deflecting in this direction it will get deflected in this direction only the deflection direction will change nothing else will happen so don't worry about the polarities of the galvanometer you should concentrate only on the polarities of voltmeter as well as ammeter in the circuit connections so for galvanometer however you want you can connect it no need of considering positive and negative okay so from positive of the battery we have connected to one end of the galvanometer from the same end of the galvanometer one connection we have given for lower end of the rheostat and from the same end of the galvanometer we have connected to positive of the voltmeter right positive of the voltmeter next another end of the galvanometer is connected to the resistance box high resistance box which we are using here and negative of the voltmeter is connected to one end of the resistance box so that end of the resistance box is connected to upper end of the rheostat and opposite lower end of the rheostat is connected to plucky and plucky is connected to negative of the battery right so this is the connection okay let me show you this once more okay uh, see uh, so this is the circuit connection see uh, i will go on just telling you the connections right now from positive of the battery to one end of the galvanometer from the same end of the galvanometer we are connecting to lower end of the rheostat and from the same end of the galvanometer we are connecting to positive of the voltmeter another end of the galvanometer is connected to one end of the high resistance box and negative of the voltmeter is connected to another end of the resistance box from the same end of the resistance box we are connecting upper terminal of the rheostat and opposite lower terminal of the rheostat is connected to one end of plucky another end of the plucky is connected to negative of the battery so this is the circuit connection of conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter okay let us go on to the uh, calculation first and then we'll go for the procedure because first we have to calculate how much is the resistance we have to connect in the circuit right okay let us go for the calculation now. so this is uh, the observation table as well as circuit diagram you can observe so this is the circuit diagram these are the observations and observation table right see uh, by looking at the meters you have to note down these things galvanometer resistance it will be given it is 100 ohm in this practical so the galvanometer what i have taken it is of 100 ohm figure of merit of galvanometer it will be given on the galvanometer itself you can observe i will just show you so figure of merit of galvanometer here is 20 micro ampere per division right so you can observe that it is 20 micro ampere per division so that is you have to note down here right so 20 micro ampere per division 20 micro ampere per division i will note it down okay so 20 micro ampere per division micro means 10 to the power minus 6 right okay next number of divisions on either side of zero of the galvanometer scale there are 30 divisions on either side of the zero of the galvanometer right you can again observe there in galvanometer on both the sides of zero there are 30 divisions right see on this side also there are 30 divisions and on this side also there are 30 divisions right okay next current required for full scale deflection current required for full scale deflection okay current required for producing full scale deflection n divisions see it will be n is 30 
and how much is k? k is figure of merit. It is 20 into 10 to the power minus 6. So this will be 30 into 20 is 600. 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere. The range of voltmeter, we want to convert it into a range of 3 volt voltmeter. You can see that I have taken a voltmeter of 3 volt here. Right? So I want to convert it to a range of 3 volt. There is no necessity that you have to take this of 3 volt only. Uh, you can take it of 5 volt also. But the intention is we want to convert this calorimeter into a voltmeter of range 3 volts. Right? So we want to convert it to a voltmeter of range 3 volts. Okay, fine. So it is of 3 volts now. The value of resistance to be connected. This calculation you have to do it correctly. See, R is equal to, we know it is V divided by IG minus G. This is the formula. How much is V? V is 3 divided by IG. IG is 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus G. G is 100. So how much I will get? This I will get 5000. 5000. You, you can calculate and see. Take 10 to the power minus 6 to the numerator. It will become 3 in front of 0, 6, 0, 3 will get 6 zeros. So divided by 600, it will be 5000 minus 100. So this will give you 4,900 4, ohm. So this is the series resistance R we have to connect to convert that galvanometer into voltmeter. Right? Okay. Here I will write it 4,900 ohm. Okay. Least count of galvanometer converted into voltmeter. S is equal to V by N. V is 3 and N. N is 30. Correct. So 3 divided by 30 means it will be 1 by 10. 1 by 10 means it is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 volt. So what is the meaning of this? Meaning of this is like this. You have to just understand it. In galvanometer we know very well. So here we have 0. And let me say here we have 10. There will be 10 divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Totally 10 divisions. So here value of one division, zero next division of the zero will indicate 0 0.01 volts, second one indicates 0 0.2 volts, 0 0.3 volts, 0 0.4 volts, 0 0.5 volts, like that, tenth division indicates one volt. If ten divisions indicates one volt, one volt, then twenty divisions indicate two volts, thirty divisions indicate three volts, right? So it is of only thirty divisions, so we got to know this is the LC. LC means uh, how much is the value of one division in galvanometer, right? So remember, this you remember, 10 divisions is equal to 1 volt, 20 divisions in galvanometer equal to 2 volt, 30 divisions in galvanometer is equal to 3 volts, right? Okay, so this much resistance we have to unplug from the resistance box and we have to check whether it has converted or no. Now we'll go for the uh, circuit connection and uh, procedure. Uh, so we'll unplug this much resistance and we'll check how the resistance, uh, how the galvanometer has converted into uh, voltmeter or no. See, uh, what you have to observe there is standard voltage in Vs in volts. Standard voltage means you have to note down the voltage in voltmeter. So this is from voltmeter. This is from voltmeter, right? Here we have galvanometer as well as voltmeter you can see, right? So standard voltage means you have to take it from voltmeter and then from galvanometer. So here what I will do is, here what I will do is, see standard voltage for first trial I will take 1 volt, for second trial I will take 2 volt, for third trial I will take 3 volt. Number of divisions deflected in galvanometer that we will check in the procedure and then we will go for the further trials, right? Okay, now we will go for the circuit connection and we will take these trials. Keeping 1 volt in voltmeter, check how many divisions it has deflected in galvanometer and note it down here. Keeping 2 volt in voltmeter, check how many divisions it has deflected in galvanometer. 3 volt in voltmeter, how many divisions in uh, galvanometer. That you have to check and you have to note it down here. Right? So I will show you that by moving the uh, knob of the rheostat, we have to see them. Okay. We will go for the procedure. So we have calculated how much is the series resistance we have to connect for the galvanometer to convert it into voltmeter. So we have got it as 4900 ohm. Correct? Okay. Switch on the circuit. Switch on the circuit. Insert the plug key and check whether both the meters are at zero or no. You can observe galvanometer is also showing zero deflection. Voltmeter is also showing zero deflection. If they are not showing zero deflection, you should move the knob of the rheostat to opposite end. See, if this is here, you can observe there they are showing the deflections. So to make them zero, I will take it back. Right. So you keep it at one end where both of them show the zero deflection. 
if they are showing zero then it indicates the circuit connection is kept okay by calculation we got to know the series high resistance r is equal to 4900 ohm right so that much resistance we have to unplug from this resistance box okay you can observe here uh, the resistance box is of 10000 ohm i have taken here so from this resistance box i will uh, unplug 4900 ohm resistance okay you can just check the values of the resistance here okay see here we have the resistance box uh, you can see the values of resistance here right okay so here i will unplug 4900 ohm see this is 2000 this is 2000 okay 2000 plus 2000 4000 4900 i want 4500 4700 4900 so first i will unplug 2000 plus 2000 it is 4000 now and this is 4500 4700 and 4900 right you can check once more how much resistance i have unplugged see here this is 2000 plus 2000 4000 4500 4700 and 4900 so this much resistance i have unplugged right okay after unplugging this much resistance now what we have to do is we have to uh, just check whether it has got converted correctly or no okay i will just show you how we have to check it see we have taken a uh, tabular column there where we have to show zero error see we have unplugged 4900 you can observe gallometer is also at zero and voltmeter is also at zero we will get confirmed whether the gallometer has converted into voltmeter or no by just taking comparing the values of voltage and voltmeter as well as gallometer how much is the lc of the gallometer we have got we have got lc of the gallometer as in gallometer 10 divisions indicate 1 volt 20 divisions indicate 2 volts and 30 divisions indicate 3 volts this we have already calculated right so 10 division it, it is equal to 1 volt you remember this and in voltmeter you can observe in voltmeter you can observe here we have voltmeter we have 0 to 3 volts right so this is 0 0 0.5 volts 1 volt 1.5 volt 2 volt 2.5 volt 3 volt right now what i will do is i will just go on moving this knob of the rheostat forward so that uh, you will see the deflections in the voltmeter as well as gallometer okay now you concentrate on voltmeter and gallometer uh, i will just go on moving the rheostat and you can observe how both of them will show the reading okay in voltmeter you have to concentrate on voltmeter i am moving the knob of the rheostat i will keep one volt in the voltmeter yes now the voltage in voltmeter is one volt how much is the number of divisions deflected in gallometer 10 divisions have got deflected so 10 division indicates one volt 20 division indicates two volt 30 division indicates three volt right okay so for one volt voltmeter is also showing one volt gallometer is also showing one volt okay i will take two volts in the voltmeter now so in voltmeter you can check the voltage is two volts right so it is 2 volts and how many divisions in gallometer it has got deflected 20 divisions 20 divisions in the sense it is also 2 volt only and now i will keep 3 volt in the voltmeter sorry 3 volt in the voltmeter i will keep so this is 3 volt correct so if this is 3 volt then gallometer is showing 30 divisions deflection you can see that 30 divisions so 30 division indicates it is 3 volts so when voltage in voltmeter is 1 volt gallometer is also showing 1 volt when voltage and voltmeter was 2 volt, it was showing 2 volt. When voltage is 3 volt, it is also showing 3 volt. It clearly indicates, it clearly shows that the galvanometer has got converted to voltmeter perfectly and it is working exactly as that of voltmeter and it is giving the same values as that of the voltmeter. Right? This is what we have to note down in the observation table and we have to show zero error. Actually, there is no error here because same working the galvanometer is showing. How much voltage the voltmeter was showing? the same voltage the gallometer is shown so there is no error that we will note down in the observation table this and we'll show the error zero right we'll go for the observation table now now that we have seen uh, how the deflections are shown in gallometer as well as voltmeter we got to know when we kept one volt in voltmeter standard voltmeter at that time how many divisions in the gallometer the needle got deflected it got deflected by 10 divisions right and when i kept two volt it got deflected 20 divisions when I kept uh, 3 volt at that time it got deflected 30 divisions. So these were the deflections we have seen. 
So what will be the converted voltage? Converted voltage means how much is the voltage reading of the galvanometer? How much voltage the galvanometer is showing? That is what we have to write. Okay, the formula is S into theta. S is, S is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 into theta. Theta is number of divisions that is 10. So it will give us 1 volt. So when standard voltmeter is showing 1 volt, converted galvanometer is also showing 1 volt only. That's why the error is 0. Vs minus V. C is 0. So error is 0 means it has got perfectly converted into voltmeter. Similarly, this will be uh, 0 0.1 into 20 that is 2 volt, 0 0.1 into 30 that is equal to 3 volt. Like this we have got, right? So these are the readings shown by galvanometer. These are the readings shown by standard voltmeter. Hence, the readings of galvanometer are same exactly as that of standard voltmeter. That's why the errors are 0. Hence, it has got converted perfectly into a voltmeter. So what is the high series resistance that we have to connect here to convert it to voltmeter that is 4900 ohm. This is the standard uh, result we have to write. Clear? Dear students, if you like the content of this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share the channel and uh, please refer the channel to your friends, juniors as well as seniors. Thank you so much. Please keep watching and supporting the channel. We will meet again in the next video. Thank you.